Hello and welcome to another Children's Moments here at Heavenward Thinking. Today we're doing our second object lesson during the time of Christmas. So I'm going to turn it over to Miss Ruth and she'll get right into our object lesson today. Thank you, Timothy. So last week we talked about using a candy cane to remind us of many different things with the Christmas story and what the candy cane can remind us of about Jesus. I brought clicky cutters here today to help us remind ourselves of other things with the Christmas season. And when you bake cookies with your family, I want you to think about what the cookie cutters can represent in the Christmas story. So Timothy, pick one of our cookie cutters here. What do you see? So yeah, two stars over here. Two stars. So if we're thinking of the Christmas story, what does the star remind you of? Uh, the star of uh, David that was over the place where Jesus was to be born. Very good. The star that led the way for the rise, wise men to come to the place where Jesus would be. And I have two stars included here. I have just an ordinary star that we all see that we're very familiar with. And then this one actually is the star of David. Why would we have the star of David? Because it was used during the Christmas story. And, and Jesus, Jesus came from the line of David. He did. God's promise to his people that Jesus would, would come through the line of David. So we do have the star of David. So whether you have a regular star or the star of David as a cookie cutter, I want you to remember the star that led them to Jesus. Mm. What else do you see as a cookie cutter here? Yeah, we have a cross over here. And there's something else that's similar to the cross here. A uh, Christmas tree. Okay, we have a Christmas tree. A lot of people don't think of a cross as a cookie cutter at Christmas. They usually think about it at Easter. But I think it's good to use it at Christmas too. And the tree can remind us, the regular Christmas tree can just remind us that Jesus came to die on a tree, a mm. tree made of wood. And a tree is an evergreen, and the evergreen doesn't lose its leaves, right? It stays always green. It reminds us of the ever-present or eternal promises of God. So mm. when you use a cookie cutter that's a Christmas tree shape, don't just think of a pretty tree that you put the presents under. Think of the best present, obviously. That was that Jesus came to die on a tree for us. Mm. And think of the evergreen as the everlasting promises of God and everlasting life we can have through Jesus. And the cross, of course, is reminding us of the true meaning of Christmas, that Jesus came to die for us. I have one more cookie cutter up here. What do you see, Timothy? It looks like it's the shape of an angel. Angel. So when you see the angel, what do you think about with the Christmas story? Uh, the angels who delivered uh, different messages to Mary and Joseph, uh, and definitely the shepherds. That's right. And what was the message that the angels brought to the shepherds? Uh, the good news that Jesus was born and where to find him. That's right. And we can be angels here on earth, not it. Angels are created beings, but we can be angels spreading the news to other people at mm. Christmas. So when you cut out a cookie in the shape of angels, think of all the wonderful proclamations that the angels made. But can you be like that, making that message be spread to all the earth at Christmas time? So next time you bake some Christmas cookies, I hope you don't just think of how pretty and cute they are, but think of the meaning behind those Christmas cookie cutters. And you might even be working with a family member to make the cookies that doesn't know about Jesus. And you could take a moment to share with them some of the story of Jesus as you use the different cookie cutters. Absolutely, absolutely. A great way to use uh, the fun of Christmas as well as point to the true meaning of Christmas, Jesus Christ. Uh, so hope you'll do that with your children this Christmas and with your family as you celebrate our Savior's birth. And join us next week for another Christmas object lesson as we continue through the Christmas season.